by god pierce morgan has been trending on social media recently because of his mistreatment of his guest dr abdul wahid after he expressed his views on thodomites ever since then pierce morgan has been on a smear campaign and has endeavored to to have this doctor be sacked i remember mohammad hijab's tweet when he went to the london branch of talk tv had to suffer through various security checks the security guard told him was unprecedented in the studio's history and he had seen police on guard right outside the building similar treatment you will see of people like dr abdul wahad and muslims on pierce show in light of this controversy an old interview of pierce morgan with ben shapiro had resurfaced where they discussed the same issue what would you do if one of your kids they're all very young you've no idea but if one of your kids turned out to be gay and wanted to get married would you be tough on tough enough I mean, for I, I would, to I say would... I, you can't do that. I mean, I would oppose that from so religion. So again, marriage exists I'm in a saying, few different. Religious, yeah, I mean, yeah. religious. So so marriage exists in a couple of different iterations. One is religious marriage, which is kind of what I care about, and then there is governmental sanctioned marriage, which is a public policy question. Right. When it comes to religious marriage, no, I, I, I'm not in favor of my religion sanctifying same-sex couples. Specifically, because again, my religion propagates the idea that man, woman, and child okay. is the model for families. Let's take a break. I want to come back and talk to you about what well, the big question for Republicans: Trump, be DeSantis. And so, I believe, so just to clarify, I believe in I what be is your view of homosexuality? I believe homosexuality is a sin. A sin is wrong. Sin. So when gay people come to your your practice, do you treat them? Oh, of course. Why? Because I treat all my patients with kindness and without. Do you tell them you think what they do is a sin? What an absurd thing to say. Why, why wouldn't you why be? Would, why would I say that? that? Why would huh? I say that? Because they don't. You can clearly see his difference in treatment of Muslims and non-Muslims. The way he smears his opponents, the way he interrupts every three seconds his guests who are on the pro-Palestinian side, the Muslims specifically, as opposed to his Jewish guests or Christian guests like Ben Shapiro or Douglas Murray, who even in this recent interview with Abdullah Ala and Dulusi, who can see that uh, Douglas Murray was given time. to speak his mind whereas he in the same interview consistently interrupted abdullah ala and delusi this coupled with the fact that he had smeared slandered and caricatured sharia law towards his audience sharia law is demonized and caricatured by bigots like pierce morgan sharia law holds tenets and values that is shared by him and ben shapiro all and all those who can claim to be orthodox jews and catholics as catholics hold the gospel and the uh, jews hold talmud and torah literally meaning law to be sacred then pierce goes on an unhinged sexist rant the poor means no gays look, look no feminists like women who get above themselves that's your right that's no caricature no that's your oh ca- i know what sharia so, law so wants why do so, why do so many women become muslim these days mm. why do they so want to be oppressed is that what you're going to tell me no no why why do so many muslim they want to be oppressed women in the world that um, islam oppresses women and dr abdul wahid they in return ask why do women convert to islam the most in the west nation which has been proven statistically and he said women want to be oppressed that's why in his interview with delhi he said he forehand claims that he's not anti muslim he is not anti islam but is that really true given in this very interview with delhi hussain he refused to apologize he refused to make amends instead he goes on the offensive against delhi hussain and starts and starts uh, making ex- excuses you see i would say that's delusional mm-hmm. i would say it's deliberately misleading mm-hmm. as was the attempt to try and make me apologize to muslim women for apparently causing the press which i didn't do and you stand by that comment which i didn't yes. you could you couldn't care less about the offense caused to 1 billion muslim women yeah, or 1.8 billion muslims you, about talking about jihad and no, no, the sacred law no, no. of muslims there was a deliberate deliberate attempt to okay. misquote me out of context to try and make out that it's the way you interpreted it anyone who watched the whole exchange knew what i was doing that we are misunderstanding or misinterpreting or misrepresenting his statements which are clear as day there was no misrepresentation there was no commentary those are clear cut his own statements that you can still see on his show now should we boycott pierce morgan or not it's up to the muslim community if they want to they do so